sounds like bacon, because it is. Oh. I'm making bacon, and then I got mushrooms, and I got a bolt house yesterday, and cabbage, and eggs, and that's gonna be my breakfast. It smells like mushrooms. Here is my breakfast. Ooh, it looks so good. The all white one is Humphrey. That's the summer, yeah. There's two pieces of it. The ski bowl's on that side. You can go skiing? Oh, well, yeah. It's a big ski resort over there. Oh, nice. There's the volcano. And we were, well, my van is parked near that, right? Yeah. Very near them. We're probably a mile away. No, it's not true. We're probably uh, half a mile away from the base of the uh, the cinder cone. It's so big. Imagine that explosion. It was like 900 years ago or something. We'll have to get the accurate numbers, but yeah. A relatively recent explosion. It is $25 for a private vehicle, $20 for a motorcycle, $15 for a bicycle or pedestrian, and then, yeah, then it's all the different passes. $25? Good morning. How's it going? Going well. Yeah, good. Carly? Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> Never gets old. It does get old. Alright, so you just got like a couple days couple left. Days. Alright, there's some information on the park. Our visitor center is right there. Pocky is about 20 miles down the road. You'll show them your pass there as well. Okay, thank okay. you. Thanks. Okay. Well, Pocky, that's how you say it? Yeah. Yay! There's a squirrel! Hey, squirrel! He runs funny. Oh, look at his ears. It's got the back end of a truck as a trailer. That's so interesting. This is similar to Critters of the Moon in Idaho. And the by Pokey as well, on the way up. Yeah. It's so cool. But after all these years, nothing has grown there. They call this Aa uh -uh Lava. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It, um, there's two different types of lava. I can't remember the other kind, but the uh-uh is the really charade Got looking. Got your shoes on. Yeah, and don't walk in it. We can take a little bit of a walk if we to. Yeah. It's called the uh-uh trail. Imagine that. <laughs> uh-uh is a Hawaiian word for stony rough lava. It forms sharp fragmented surfaces as it flows slowly and cools quickly. Sturdy footwear. It's probably when I'm uh, probably when I'm wearing is not good. No, you're good. They don't want you wearing flip flops. Why not? Just for that, I'm gonna go barefoot. <laughs> I'm gonna woke this trail. So much lichen. There's a little lizard! Oh, hey, little lizard! Little lizard. So cool. I rode my bike up there last year. Two years, four years ago. Takes your zigzags you up. You rode your bike up there? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it was terrible. It was the worst thing I've ever done. It was so cold. Um, 
way up to the top and I wanted to get onto the uh, cell tower in the other lock. And the road going back down, there's a sheet of ice. Oh. Yeah. And of course me being, you know, the bro, I try it, you know. And <laughs> fall everywhere. But after I got my composure back, because that's surprise we don't, you know. Yes. We don't fall. So <laughs> I, got it, I got it done. Went all the way down. Woo! Cowboy that whole thing. Profit. It's a little bit windy today. And yesterday. And yesterday. This area is pretty windy. It's okay. We'll get through. What? Ruined it. I picked up a piece that wouldn't come up. Kyle's gonna throw a rock at me. Yeah. <laughs> I threw a rock at one of my neighbors when I was a kid once. And I hit her in the back and her dad came out. Oh God. He yelled at me. Well, it serves you right. <laughs> Don't throw rocks at unsuspecting people. <laughs> He told me, either you tell your father or I will. I said, I'll tell my dad. And I never told my dad. The girl I threw the rock at, she told my dad. And I got in a lot of trouble. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I was grounded for one month. <gasps> yep. I wasn't allowed to play with any of the neighbors for one month. No. Yeah. So bad. <sighs> Here's the sunset volcano! It's really pretty. It's called the Painted Desert. You can kind of see the colorings out there. It's all the red rock. Red rock. All the vortexes. <laughs> There's the first ruin. Ooh, it looks cool. It's built way up. Yeah, it's interesting how they do. I don't think you can actually go into it. I think you can just walk around it. These folks definitely wanted the high ground. Oh, you can go. Oh, that is so cool. This ruin is one of the most impressive masses of Arib Aboriginal masonry. Masonry. It's visible for many miles and from a distance resembles an old castle as it looms above the plain. It's been standing for 800 years. It has not been rebuilt. Oh really? This is, um, however, walls have been remortared to cap and deter erosion. Cool. The name of it means big house. You can see why they made the walls so thick. The walls are very thick. Three layers. This is just like whatever rock too. It's just like what is that? Oh, it was two layers because it's got. Oh my gosh, this is thousand-year-old wood. Maybe. I don't think it is. Though. Okay, it's eight hundred years. No. Could be. No. Remember they reinforced some of this stuff? 
No, that's showing the second level. This is 800 year old wood. <laughs> So there was three levels there. Look how short it is. Think about it. This might have been just like a storage area. Look at how. I mean, like. I think they used to be a lot smaller. Ow! I think I had been to this one. You've been here? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Probably. I got this little book from the lady and following it. Jeez, this is pretty cool. So number one is the location of Old Spring. Yeah, I remember this. I never saw this before. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is reconstructed. It's called a ball court. out of this blowhole from underground. Yeah, it's moved like dirt. Oh. Can you feel it or hear it? Whoa! Yeah, it comes out every now and then. You can smell it a little bit. It's not smelt again. It smells like this light. Weird. There's another site right up there, but you can't get to it. You can only see it from the road. It's fenced off too. And it's not rebuilt. The park ranger inside said that there is 3,000 archaeological sites out here on the National Monument land. Farmers lived here about 800 years ago. So for dinner, I'm kind of just got a bunch of things out here. Since I went to the grocery store yesterday, I have a lot of options. But I am making ramen noodle. And I got the creamy chicken kind. And I've got butter out. Because I'm going to chop up some asparagus and saute it in here. And I think I'll put in some onion and mushroom with that. I've also got cream of mushroom here. And I was thinking of putting that in with the noodles and then mixing the, the asparagus and whatnot in with it. I also have bacon and I had bacon this morning, um, but I really like bacon so I might have more. That is my dinner experimente. Here is my finished dinner. Hey there. I just wanted to let you guys know that I started a podcast. I have no idea what the consistency of it is going to be, or even if there's going to be a theme to it. 
But if you like to listen to podcasts, I'll put the link down below. I'm using an app called Anchor to make my podcasts and upload them. And then Anchor is distributing it to a bunch of different platforms like Spotify. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.